Hello everybody, Chad here, and welcome to another Cooking Simulator 5 star tutorial. In this tutorial today, we will be covering the fried garlic shrimp, the upgraded version of the previous recipe that I have covered, which was the fried shrimp. This upgraded version of this dish does have some big differences, but is not too much more difficult, except for maybe the addition of the croutons is not too much more difficult than the original fried shrimp recipe. But, we do have a lot of new ingredients for this. The ingredients that we will be using today is lemons, just like last time, bread, olive oil, bread and olive oil both for the croutons, garlic, and of course shrimp, which is still in here, clarified butter, salt, lemon pepper, lemon juice, and cayenne pepper. And as well as parsley leaves, but we will get to those later. So to start off this recipe, we are going to do the croutons. The croutons take a bit of precision whenever it comes to doing this. We need 100 grams of bread, but each loaf of bread is 300 grams, which means we need to make a cut and get 100 grams or close to it. That's 91 grams so we want to try and cut this one in half roughly. Good. You can do whatever with the other parts of the loaf. I usually just throw them away if I'm not using them. And now with this 100 grams of bread we're going to take 10 milliliters of olive oil and we are going to just pour this on here. Roughly 10 milliliters. That was actually perfect this time, surprisingly, but it can be a little bit over, a little bit under. It's fine. And then we want to make four cuts to separate this into five roughly 20 gram pieces doesn't have to be exact, it is very hard to get exact measurements on stuff like this. Or exact amounts, I should say. So we want to go one, two, three, four. And now this is not how real croutons would actually look by any means. Ah, that's what I'm missing. We also want to get a plate. This is the dish that we will be using for this. We want to take our pan, drag all of this bread in here, try and give it a little shake around, that way it's all touching the pan. Bring it over here and set a timer for 30 seconds. Very nice, very simple. That will cook over time. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and quarter the lemon. Very simple, one, two, lemon is quartered, and we can now take our plate and put this on here. And we'll wait for this to finish before we go on to the next step, which is the shrimp. Finish that, and then we can take our plate and grab up our croutons, which, <laughs> once again, this is not what <laughs> real croutons would necessarily look like, but it doesn't have to. It is a game. Now we are going to do the actual shrimp. So we are going to take our garlic, put it on the cutting board, and just simply cut it into halves. Just like that. And we're fine. Now we are going to take our other pan and get 120 grams of shrimp, which is again equivalent to six shrimp. Slap this on here, set a timer for 30 seconds, and just cook it like this. Now we have our garlic over here cut and done, and now we simply wait. 
And if I didn't mention, mention this before, this is 20 grams or two pieces of garlic from over here. Now while we're waiting, which it won't be long, I'm just going to sit here and wait. And that's done for now. Now we are going to take our clarified butter and pour in 30 milliliters of clarified butter. A little bit over, a little bit under, again, doesn't matter. Then we want 10 grams of both salt and lemon pepper, which is a new spice from the previous recipe, compared to the previous recipe. And then we want to take that garlic that we cut up over here on the cutting board, put all this in here, and then we want to come over to our herb shelf and grab three leaves of parsley leaves. Then we're going to put this back on here on the stovetop, set the timer for 20 seconds, and cook it again. And this is just a very short time that we have to wait for this, and then we'll be almost ready to serve. That's done. We are going to take our lemon juice and drizzle all of this in six milliliters of lemon juice. And we also want to season all of this with six grams of cayenne pepper. And now it's ready to be served. Very simple. Still extremely simple. The bread is, in my opinion, the hardest part to this recipe for the croutons. Purely because the croutons can be difficult for a new player to cut. Now, again, <laughs> thankfully presentation doesn't matter in this game. But if we come over here to the order station and serve this up, this should be a 5-star fried garlic shrimp. And indeed, it is. A perfect five-star garlic shrimp. And that is how you do that. That is how you make a five-star fried garlic shrimp. Once again, easy, but a little bit more difficult than the downgraded version, the regular fried shrimp. That is all that I have to cover today, though. I hope that this was a helpful guide to help you get a 5-star in fried garlic shrimp. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, stick around for more 5-star tutorials. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.